feast. Joy Junction will also offer Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow at its shelter on 2nd Street that starts at 2 o'clock. Well done, as always, right there. And our weather is going to be really cold overnight. Isn't I know. It? So hopefully whatever food you do eat, it's warm because we're you going bet. to need the, all the warmth we can get over the next couple of days. Uh, here's a look at Pagosa Springs, Colorado, and uh, you can see the cloud cover there. They picked up some snow showers this morning. I uh, picked up a few inches last night, and as we head through the afternoon, you're still going to see another one to three inches of snow possible along with winds up near 50 miles per hour. So blizzard warning still in effect uh, for the Pagosa Springs area, the San Juan Mountains in Colorado, up near Telluride, and that goes until 6 o'clock tonight. So still watching for the snow that's mainly across Colorado right now. Of course, that's going to be traveling to the south, and that whole system uh, means windy conditions across much of our state. So areas that you see here in yellow, uh, those locations under a wind advisory. You could see those wind gusts near 50, 55 miles per hour as we continue through the afternoon. And uh, that wind is going to add to the chill that's already in the air. And behind, the snow and the wind is going to come in some more cold air, the coldest we've seen so far this season. Uh, here's a look at our satellite and radar composite, and you can see the snow showers now over Colorado. For us across the state, just dealing with a few clouds across the central part of the state, but uh, that cloud cover will be increasing, and we could see some of those snow showers get into the northern mountains later on this afternoon. So this is what it's looking like, that system now over Colorado, bringing the heaviest of the snow there, uh, picking up another one to three inches of snow, so four to eight inches total uh, for the southern mountains of Colorado. And then for us, we're not going to see a whole lot out of it, not quite enough moisture, so perhaps anywhere from an inch, maybe up to four inches for our northern mountains and the higher terrain over in the Four Corners region. Again, the big story is going to be the wind. Winds out of the west at 20 to 30 miles per hour and gusting at times uh, near 40, 45 miles per hour in the highest winds east of the central mountain chain over toward the Texas border. Those should start to taper off, though, once the sun goes down. And again, behind the wind, there's the chilly air that's going to be moving in. Three in Haley, Idaho right now, 14 in Casper. So all that cold air is going to push to the south and east. Right now, pretty nice in the southeast corner of New Mexico in the 70s there, but the cold air is even going to get down into the southern tip of New Mexico, where many of you down in the southeast will see your first freeze. Uh, so those locations under freeze watch for tomorrow night down toward Carlsbad. For the northwest, snow, windy, gusts near 55 miles per hour. We'll top out at 30 in Durango, 35 in Farmington, then down into the single digits tonight. It gets colder as we head into your Thanksgiving day, uh, looking at more sunshine, but temperatures only topping out in the 20s, and then down into the single digits and below zero for many of you up in the four corners region. For the southwest, partly cloudy and pretty breezy here, too, with highs mainly in the middle and upper 60s. For the southeast, partly cloudy here, winds gusting near 35 miles per hour, but temperature-wise, again, not bad at all. Topping out in the 70s to even 80s far south. Roswell looking at highs in the mid-70s today, but tomorrow only topping out in the upper 40s, then down into the 30s and teens as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Here's a forecast for the northeast. Very windy with highs in the 40s and 50s here, and then down into the single digits and teens tonight. In the northern mountains, could see a few snow showers late this afternoon and overnight tonight with temperatures in the 30s, then down into the single digits tonight. Here's your forecast for Santa Fe. Mid-40s today, down into the teens tonight. We'll top out only in the low 30s tomorrow. Single digits is what you're going to wake up to Friday morning. So bundle up when you head out to shop for Black Friday. You're going to need the winter weather. Winter clothes, that is. Windy conditions for the East Mountains. Highs in the 40s and 50s, then down into the teens tonight. And for the metro area, partly cloudy, winds gusting near 40 with highs in the middle and upper 50s this afternoon. Uh, temperatures tomorrow, big changes there. Highs only in the 30s then down to 14 degrees tomorrow night. So that cold air is moving in quickly. It'll definitely be noticeable. Yeah. Okay, Kristen, thank you very much. So